The fresh fish is scaled and immediately sold in the marketplace. The markets play an important role in the island's social life. They're not only the place where trading is done, but also an area where the inhabitants can come to socialize. The Spice Islands are in the Indonesian archipelago and were once occupied by the Dutch, who had maintained the monopoly on the clove market until the 19th century. In 1818, Zanzibar began growing this crop under the aegis of the Sultan. International opinion had begun to turn against the slave trade and another source of income had to be found. Today, 10 to 20 tons of cloves are produced here. 70% of which are for export. Clove trees, known by their scientific name of Eugenia aromatica, can grow as tall as 10 to 15 meters high. During their growth, the plantation workers must watch that no other plant grows up and suffocates them. The trees can produce the valuable spice for some 50 years. Their very pink buds aren't picked for the first eight years. When the tree has reached maturity, the buds are harvested by hand before blooming. Once dried, the clove buds produce a very pleasant odor and taste. The buds are harvested between July and September, and then again after November and before February. They're never harvested during the month of November, as it's the rainy season. A good tree can produce some 30 kilos of cloves, which, once dried, will weigh in at only 20 kilos. The buds are carried to the farmers' homes in fiber bags, and there the buds are delicately separated from the stems. The entire family helps perform this task. Both buds and stems are set to dry on palm racks or on special rock platforms called sakufu. The cloves are green when first harvested, but turn brown as they dry. <laughs> 